The Guangdong Dia Bay Nuclear Power Station is the first large-scale commercial nuclear power station in the Chinese mainland. Since its commissioning in 1994, the power station has maintained an excellent safety record while supplying clean and reliable electricity to Hong Kong and Guangdong. The 4 billion US dollar plant is owned by a joint venture between China Guangdong Nuclear Power Holding Corporation and CLP Holdings Limited, which owns 25% through Hong Kong Nuclear Investment Company Limited. Today, Dia Bay can produce nearly 2,000 megawatts of power. 70% of the electricity is supplied to Hong Kong and meets one-third of CLP Power's electricity demand. The remaining 30% of the power helps meet the needs of Guangdong. Nuclear power uses heat released during nuclear fission to create steam from water, which drives the turbine and the generator that produces electricity. Apart from the splitting of uranium atoms to produce heat, the process of electricity generation of a nuclear power station is no different than a conventional fossil fuel-based power station. In a typical nuclear power station such as Dia Bay, pellets of enriched uranium are put into sealed fuel rods, which form the reactor core. At the right conditions, a neutron hitting a uranium atom will produce nuclear fission and releases neutrons which will make more uranium atoms split. A small amount of uranium can produce an enormous amount of heat during this chain reaction process. Control rods which contain special material to absorb these neutrons are placed between the fuel rods. By raising or lowering the control rods into the reactor core, we can manage the amount of power produced by controlling this chain reaction. By lowering all of the control rods, we can stop the reaction completely at any time. One major advantage of nuclear power is that it is clean and reliable. Unlike power generation using fossil fuels, it does not produce the greenhouse gases which are responsible for global warming. While renewable energy such as hydro, wind and solar power are also non-greenhouse gas emitting, they depend on the availability of appropriate resources. In the case of wind and solar, they require government policy support for economical operations. Dia Bay uses a pressurized water reactor, which is the most common type of reactor in the world today. Pressurized water reactor gets its name because its cooling water is kept under high pressure in a sealed circuit, called the primary cooling circuit. Because of the high pressure, the water does not boil, even when the temperature reaches 330 degrees Celsius. This means the cooling water can absorb the heat from the fuel rods very effectively and transfer the heat to a secondary cooling circuit where the water is kept at lower pressure and so boils at lower temperatures to produce the steam that drives the turbine. Splitting atoms will produce energy as well as radiation which has useful applications in medicine, agriculture and industry. When properly handled, our exposure and any associated risks as a result are very low. In fact, radiation is present in everyday life and we are exposed to it all the time. In this form, it is known as background radiation and 40% comes from radioactive gases released into the air from the earth and building materials. 30% comes from direct radiation produced by traces of radionuclides in rocks and soil. 10% comes from food and drink, and 5% from outer space. The other 15% comes from man-made sources, or is due to activities such as X-ray examinations, air travel, and watching television. Diabase's excellent safety record is contributed by proven design and stringent operations. Since commissioning in 1994, the station has received favorable reviews by the Industry Authority, World Association of Nuclear Operators on Plant Management, Operation and Safety. It also regularly receives top awards in the Safety Challenge Competition, organized by Electricity de France, since it first participated in 1999. The design makes reference to an operating nuclear power station of Electricity de France, the French national electricity company, which has a proven track record in the design, construction and operation of nuclear power stations. It incorporates three independent barriers to prevent the unwarranted release of radioactivity. 
The first barrier is the fuel cladding, which is made of metal alloy. The fuel cladding seals the uranium fuel and prevents radiation leakage into the surrounding cooling water. The second barrier is the 20 cm thick reactor pressure vessel and the associated cooling water pipework. It is made of steel and completely seals off the cooling water, preventing any further radiation leakage beyond the primary circuit. The third barrier is the containment building, which has a 90 cm thick reinforced concrete wall backed with a steel lining. It completely encloses the entire reactor pressure vessel, preventing any radiation leakage into the environment. Each part of the system also has multiple backups, so that if any piece of equipment fails, backup equipment will automatically assume the operation. To ensure safe operation of the plant, Dia Bay relies on a team of highly skilled and experienced personnel. Most of Dia Bay's technical staff have tertiary education and also hold professional qualifications. In line with well practices, they must attend a comprehensive training program before they can assume their duties. For the operators, their training program includes a period of on-the-job training for 18 months and training in a Dia Bay simulator. They must also pass an examination before receiving their licenses from China's National Nuclear Safety Administration. They then have to sit examinations every two years and undertake periodic retraining to maintain their licenses. Diabase operations are stringently monitored and controlled and run in accordance with best practices. The National Nuclear Safety Administration is responsible for granting permits and safety licenses to Diabase and for monitoring its daily operation while the State Environmental Protection Administration is responsible for monitoring any environmental impact. Experts from the International Atomic Energy Agency also visit Dia Bay regularly to inspect the station's operation and conduct technical exchanges. The World Association of Nuclear Operators, which is responsible for encouraging nuclear power stations in the world to share experience, also conducts regular technical exchanges and experience sharing activities with Dia Bay to ensure best practice. Dia Bay undertakes regular inspections of its equipment, including its backup and safety systems. If any equipment does not meet the required standards, this is reported immediately. Reviews of the system are undertaken and any defect is corrected. The equipment will then be checked by an independent group of engineers to minimize the chance of human error. About every 18 months, Dia Bay will replenish the nuclear fuel in its reactors and perform important checks and major maintenance work to keep the plant in good condition. Under Chinese regulations, when any piece of nuclear equipment does not meet these set standards, the details must be recorded and submitted to the National Nuclear Safety Administration for independent review. The general public is also informed of any such events via the HKNIC website. Such events are classified using the International Nuclear Event Scale, established by the International Atomic Energy Agency. The classifications range from below scale, or level 0, which is of no safety significance, up to level 7, which denotes a major accident. In addition to monitoring and maintaining the plant systems and equipment, Dia Bay stringently monitors radiation levels to protect the health of its staff and the general public. All staff members who might be exposed to radiation during their work are required to have careful work plans and carry monitoring instruments. The instruments not only register radiation levels, but also collects data to track their radiation levels over time. Dia Bay also conducts annual health checks for its staff, as well as radiation health checks for those involved in radiation-related work. The practice ensures that staff members are provided with a safe and healthy working environment. The daily operation of Dia Bay produces small quantities of radioactive material, which is managed according to international best practice. Intermediate and low-level radioactive waste includes protective equipment, filters and parts that have been exposed to radiation. Waste of this type is first checked to ensure that its level of radioactivity is within the required limits. It is then compressed and packed in drums made of non-corrosive metal or concrete, each year, Dia Bay produces less than 200 cubic meters of this waste and packaging. 
Used nuclear fuel, known as spent fuel, is classified as a high-level radioactive material, and Diabe produces about 50 tons of spent fuel each year. It contains mainly reusable uranium, together with a small quantity of high-level radioactive waste material. China's policy is to reprocess spent nuclear fuel, so as to extract the reusable uranium and separate it from the high-level radioactive waste, which will be solidified, put into a sealed container, and buried deep underground. As a normal operating practice, a nuclear power station will also release a small quantity of radioactive material into the environment. In Diabase case, the National Nuclear Safety Administration and the State Environmental Protection Administration undertake stringent monitoring of radiation from the power station. But the amount is very small. Even for the most exposed local residents, the resulting radiation level is equivalent only to watching television for a few extra minutes each day. Daya Bay is about 50 kilometers from Chimsa Choi of Hong Kong, making it further away from a major city than many other nuclear power stations. The power station has contingency plans that refer to internationally recognized safety practices to handle any accident effectively. In the unlikely event of an accident that leads to radiation leakage, people within a 5 kilometer radius may need to be evacuated in accordance with international practice. People in the 5 to 10 kilometer zone may have to shelter inside buildings. And monitoring and control of drinking water and foodstuffs may be required within 10 to 50 kilometers. The Hong Kong Observatory also monitors radiation levels and would receive notification of any leakage from the Guangdong authorities. The Hong Kong government has contingency plans in place for a major accident. It is this thorough approach to operating Dia Bay that has made the power station a very successful supplier of clean, reliable and safe electricity since it began operation in 1994. It provides a good alternative power source and is an important part of Guangdong and Hong Kong's diversified power mix. It is a source of power we can depend on now and into the future.